Hello and welcome to your 19th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add a custom shovel. And in this tutorial I'm going to continue our um, little item set or tool set um, mini series and teach you how to add a custom sword. So um, I've got most of it set up. The basic item stuff is all set up. Uh, tutorial sword, tutorial sword ID, game registry, and language registry. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, unique code. So inside the tutorial.common package, I'm going to add, or whatever your package is, just add, um, in this case, item turquoiseum sword, and I need to make that I and I. Um, if I can type. Okay. Um, so it'll be item turquoiseum sword, and this extends item sword, and import item sword, and then add constructor. Delete this, and then at the very bottom say public string get texture file and then return slash tutorial slash tutorial underscore textures dot png so that's um, actually it for the turquoise sword except we need to declare it so tutorial sword equals new item Turquoiseum sword tutorial sword ID turquoiseum dot set icon index and this will be 250. I've already created a texture for it dot set item name and this will be turquoise sword. And then if we run the game, uh, now while it's running uh, I'm going to explain how you actually define uh, the damage that the sword does because as you see we haven't actually added a Minecraft Forge dot set tool class um, method call down here. And the way you do that is actually in your material. So when we declared our material we have these parameters and we have right here um, at least I have the number six. Yours might be a bit different. And that's the amount of damage the sword will deal. So if I have six, it'll deal approximately three hearts of damage because it's each um, increment is one half heart of damage. Oops. No, stop that. Stop that. Okay. Um, so if I go in and I'm going to spawn in a zombie, I think a zombie has... 20, I, I want to say 20 hearts of health, but I think that's wrong. Um, let me just give myself some spawn eggs. Um, I'll do zombie, creeper, um, and then I'm going to give myself a turquoiseum sword. So, oh, I'm in peaceful. Uh, okay, so on easy mode, this is going to kill him in three hits. So I guess it's about ten. Um, yeah. So if I were to, um, now I'm not quite sure how much health mobs have, um, but if I were to set this to say something like ten, or actually something crazy like twenty, where it would do ten hearts of damage, so it would kill a player in a single hit. Um, then, build in terrain. If I spawn a creeper, you'll see it's going to kill him. Well, kill anything in one hit. Actually, I think it's blazes that have 20 hearts of damage. Let me just test that. Um, so, if you're bored, 
this is the end of the tutorial. Um, so thank you for watching this part. I'm just going to experiment a little bit more um, with the mobs, and I might as well record that. So if you're leaving now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. If you're not, uh, then I'll have more of an intro later. So I think a blaze has 20 hearts of damage. Uh, that's loud. Um, I know you all can't hear it, but no, a blaze has 10 hearts of damage. Um, or something like that. And then a big slime should have... Oh, these are little slime. Oh, there's a big slime. Yeah, so... Um, this is a bit of an overpowered sword. But, um, yeah, so that's the gist of adding a sword. I think I'm going to finish up uh, all of that now. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will finish up our tool set series uh, with adding a hoe. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.